Hey, what's up, everybody? Glad to see you guys here on a Saturday night with uh, with me to have some rations and talk about, you know, the typical ration stuff. This is weird, but uh, I'm going to have to leave you guys for just one second, and I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, hopefully some more folks have collected up in here. All right, let me say hello to some people in the chat. What's up, Jeremiah? Miss Renee is here. Adrian, Aletha, hello. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hey, Shocker's here. Good to see you, man. Benjamin, howdy, howdy. Sparrow, 9612. Garlic and herb chicken sounds tasty. Uh, you know what? Like, I don't even know. We're going to go through. I have four provided meals that Blindside actually gave me. Now, if anybody ever reads the description, which most people don't, there's a mix of things from folks out here tonight. And let's see. Uh should have had another peanut butter. Oh, wait. There is two peanut butters. Okay. So, Dub C provided those cans right there. Um, the meals right here, the, uh, the which I've got two more to the side right here. I've got one back here. Whoop. There you know. It is a reduced sodium. It's actually fresh. It's uh, from late 2017. I have never had a reduced sodium meal period i've never had one so i'm kind of interested to check it out since i've been having sodium issues my blood pressure been a little high hasn't been here recently though so uh i've actually gotten my blood pressure down i got things under control uh doing better when it comes to that type of stuff and uh let's see here this is from salty crock collectibles this is from blindside as well and over here we have cyanide cookies or Dan from Australia. I'm going to pick one of the two of those. I'm not sure which one. I haven't had the crunchy before. I've definitely had the violet crumble, but that's one of my favorites. So not sure which one I'm going to go with yet. But I will be figuring that out. Uh, British chocolate. You, you know what? I think this one might be. This one right here, I'm pretty sure is. This is Australian. I know these things are made in Australia. Because whenever I picked them up, whenever I bought it at the... Uh, at the airport that one time paid like ten dollars nine or ten dollars a bar nine or ten dollars for a candy bar how crazy is that <laughs> but I, I remember reading on it that it was produced made in australia surely it says on here somewhere i'm probably just overlooking it trying to rush myself hmm Anyway, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, look at it right there. Australia. Yeah, Australia's Violet Crumble. It's definitely got a uh, pretty wrapper, pretty purple. This one is blue and gold. Kind of got the, I don't know, kind of like a birthday look to it. All the little sprinklies in there and stuff. I don't know much about these candy bars other than uh, I really like the Violet Crumble. I didn't do any research into it or anything like that. Now, um, okay, Blindside is in the chat. It says under the flap. Oh, okay. I gotta look now since he said that. Oh yeah, right there. Created in Australia, 1913. Australian owned and made in Australia. What's this one say? This one was bought in Australia. I'm sure of that. Because Dan sent it in that awesome box that he sent the CR1M in. Some jerky, smoothie, some freeze-dried food. Really hooked it up. Uh, let's see. Crunchy. And the color purple are trademarks 
used under license. What? Which they spell color wrong over there, by the way. That's not how you spell color. <laughs> I know I'm going to catch crap for that. And Cadbury means quality New Zealand. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. That's that reflection. So it's right there. You can see Zealand. There's new New Zealand. So that one must be made. That particular bar. Meaning the one that I have in my hand was made in New Zealand. But maybe the ones in the UK are made in the UK. I'm going to guess. So uh, also I'm going to have an accessory packet here from that came from Bob Minotaur Trading Company. There's a link in the description. Get yourself 10% off. You want to put in the OS10 standing for Old Smoky 10. You get 10% off your entire order. Hook it up. Do that. Get yourself 10% off. Uh, he did text me the other day. Tell me that... Uh, can't remember the name of that ration he just came out with. Great big huge survival kit ration thing that uh, I very well possibly could be going this coming Saturday to uh, do some sort of review with that with uh, hopefully another YouTuber uh, on, that's on the survival side of stuff that does more of the survival equipment and stuff. I'd be there more of, for the food aspect and he'd be there more for the survival gear aspect of this Kronos. That's what it was called. Yeah. Oh, shocker. Put it up there. But uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's pronounced Kronos. Uh, I know I'm saying it right. Anyway, uh, where was I? Okay, Blindside. I had a question for Blindside. So what? What are these, man? I don't know. I don't know what these are. Let me grab the other ones over here. Oh, and like I said, these were all provided by Blindside. I got four of them. He gave me gave me two reduced sodiums and two of these. But I don't know what these are. Uh, obviously produced by Sapaco, or at least that's who made the main. I would assume that that's where these meals in general came from, but I'll bet this main right here is not made by Sapaco. Nope, yep, packed for Sapaco packaging. So, yeah, Sapaco did not make that main, but it was packed for Sapaco. So these must be some sort of Sapaco. Are these the emergency meals that uh, the trucker had? I can't remember what those look like. I haven't seen is Miss Miss Rachel Sunshine in the comments down here yet. Just wondering how she's doing this week with the uh, with the COVID. I mean, I've been gone for effectively two weeks now. Uh, that's what they had old cases of. What? Hang on, I'm reading back. Probably missed something. Uh, I'm looking for blindside. Did he answer what these meals are? Exactly. I don't know. Other than he says that's what they had whole cases of. I'm not sure. Uh, YouTube probably hasn't sent out a notification letting folks know that there is a live stream going on. Most likely that or literally I was gone for one week and everybody forgot the next. <laughs> Which is all. It's all good doesn't matter this one right here is penne with vegetable sausage crumbles in spicy tomato sauce oh yeah I could have flipped it over and it says it right there whoa blindside uh whoa thanks thank you for the super chat blindside much appreciated they had those separate but what they had whole that's what they had whole cases of huh Okay, <laughs> I'm still confused. Uh, probably Sapacos, though, is what I'm guessing. I don't think uh, I don't think I've ever seen these before. They do have a military spoon in them. I'm seeing. I'm trying to I'm trying to think like what these could be. Typically, Sapaco, all the ones that I know of, are always in a bag similar to this. The non-reduced sodium ones obviously just don't have that on it. Just don't say reduced sodium. Uh, this one's Chili Mac, by the way. I wonder what reduced sodium Chili Mac. And I checked. These are actually reduced sodium mains. I always thought they just put 
lower sodium side items and drinks and whatnot in there. I was wrong. Totally wrong. I did do a, a, a tad bit of research on that and, and compared mains. And these are reduced uh, quite a bit, actually. Only 13% of your daily value in there. 300. I mean, there's still, honestly, there's still a good little bit of sodium in there. But definitely different from uh, typical. Oh, Leah, happy birthday, Tracy. Well, that's very kind of you to say that to Tracy on the live stream here. Mr. Tracy, happy birthday. I don't know how old you are, and I bet you don't want me to know either. I, I don't want you to know how old I am. <laughs> remember, I, you guys remember when you were younger? You used to always want to, like, be older than what you were. Like, you you have a birthday. Somebody would ask how old you were. You didn't want to tell them because you were, you were young. That's how I felt, anyway. Maybe you guys weren't, but not everybody was the same way. But I did used to... But, I will say this also, I, I always looked older than what I actually was for a long time. Until I was probably right around 18 to 20, maybe 21, around in that area. And then I, I kind of looked my age. And then as I got older, I looked younger than what I was, which was, that was a good thing. But I think things have finally caught up to me. Caught, that's not a real word. I think... Things have finally caught up to me, and I am uh, looking my age now, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, so meal choices. We had the chili mac back there. What do we have here? Uh, this is spaghetti with meat sauce. Textured soy flour sauce. Huh. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I said thank you for that super chat, Miss Leah, but uh, I meant to. Thank you for that super chat, Miss Leah. And, uh, yeah, you guys, I'll tell you what. I don't know why I've never done this, or maybe I have. But you got to go check out Tracy Phillips' channel. Go over there to his channel. I I'm actually asking you guys to do that. And uh, tell him happy birthday on one of his videos. You can tell him Old Smokey sent you if you want. But just go over there, tell him a happy birthday in a comment somewhere. And uh, if you like his videos over there, hit that subscribe button while you're over there. We all love subscribers here on YouTube kind of like one of those things that you just enjoy uh, your numbers growing for whatever reason <laughs> it's just a thing okay so spaghetti with meat sauce with no real meat sauce obviously all right uh, it says with meat and textured soy flour sauce. why is there meat if they're going to use textured soy i don't understand one or the other <laughs> Pick one or the other. Killer Google MREs. What? Okay. And then this garlic and herb chicken. I'm, I want people to sound off in the comments. Anybody who has had this particular main before. Typically, you'll find this in a first strike ration. That's where this main pops up. Um... They haven't had this as a main in the U.S. MREs in about, uh, what's it been, three, four years, something like that, probably. I'd say 20, heck, it might even been longer ago than that. Might have been like 2013. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while since that main right there was an actual U.S. MRE main outside of the fact that it still shows up in first strike rations as a main. Now, when you're talking about first strike rations, this is one of the only mains that you'll find in a first strike ration. The rest of it, you're going to find, you know, Bridgeford stuff, uh, you know, bread items. I don't know if they're putting pizza in a first strike ration yet or not, but they better be. I mean, it's like a perfect place for pizza. Um, I think that's the only place I can think of that it would pop up. And I can't think of any other main, like actual mains. I know there's one other main that comes in the first strike rations that's actually in a retort pouch outside of like applesauce or something like that. Or maybe even pudding. I can't remember if there's a pudding in there. I think there is. There, there's a caffeinated pudding, I think, in one of the first strike rations. If not, it's definitely in the more, which a more would be in a package about like that. But what I was saying was, anybody who has had this particular garlic and herb chicken breast main, I'd like to hear what you guys thought about it right here in this uh, 
in the comments or in the chat because uh the last time i had this it was it was pretty rough really hard to eat um because the garlic was so overpowering that i just i just could not could not handle it now i kind of want to start off with the cans tonight i just kind of want to get to the meat of the situation and then we'll pick out a meal after that I think most people that will stop on this video are going to want to see the cans open. So let's just, we'll do that. Uh, this accessory pack and I'm going to set it off to the side. I'm going to open this one. And all I'm going to do is uh, jerk the cigarettes out of that one. So nothing special going on there. I'll just keep it sitting over here to the side. Now, this is really weird. You guys see this? This is a Supaco Mall in South Carolina. This is a, obviously a later production, so probably 75, 76. I don't remember seeing cans that look like this. I mean, look at the sheen on that, like the luster. You guys see that? I don't know if it, can you see it? It's like a, a shiny new nickel. All right. I don't know. That's that's interesting. Uh, and anybody who enjoys this type of stuff, hit that thumbs up for me. Let Google and YouTube know that uh, you know that you're willing to participate with their data collecting. This has a, a not a date code, I don't think, but it does have a lot code on it of some kind. And it also has like these weird. You see those lines on it? It's just. Kind of weird. Seam looks okay on the pound cake. But there's no date on this B unit. That's what I picked this up to say. Crackers and candy. Sapaco. Mall in South Carolina. No date on this can. I have had these for a long time. Just kind of dug them out yesterday? or Yeah, yesterday. And I don't... I, I Really, honestly, I don't know anything at all about them. Because... I just picked them up as a lot. I got this, this, that, the spoon, and the accessory. I got all that together one time, and it's been years ago. And it's actually I had it wrapped up in a Walmart bag because that's how they shipped it to me in a box. They had they put all this stuff in a Walmart bag and tied it, like spun it and tied it and put it in a box and then put like bubble wrap around it, and that's how it came shipped. I just missed a super chat. Uh, Miss Gina says, are those B units the ones you got from us in Ohio? Nope, they are not. Um, those ones are, those ones are old. Those ones are. I can't remember what year those were, but I think those were 66, I believe. 66 or 67. I'd have to check. But, uh, yeah, those B units, actually both of those B units, you probably won't be seeing those because they both contain cheese and uh there's no point in opening b units with cheese in them anymore unless i have one that's not bloated and then i will be opening that and i will be opening the cheese even if it's moldy i'm still going to try it i want to try some mci cheese guys i don't know what it is i've had the most disgusting mre cheese probably that there that even exists i have eaten that stuff every time i've seen the mci cheese that wasn't bloated and opened up the cheese, nine times out of ten, will the cheese in the can will still be somewhat bloated. But you, if you open the can up, it'll smell really bad, and there will maybe be some spots of mold around it. But I'm still, I'm still going to try it. I don't care. I'm, I'm to the point. I just want to try that cheese and see what it tastes like. Maybe it's finely aged. Who knows? You know, some really stinky cheeses out there taste really good. So you never know. Uh, something else I, I noticed about this lot here. Okay, this is the peanut butter, and the peanut butter is a, is that Kern? Let's see better on the camera. Yep, Kern Foods Incorporated. And it's, uh, there's no date of any kind on that either. 03109, is that the same thing? No, but that 109 is. Holy cow. Bob, stay well, my friend. Well, hey, Bob, thanks for that insanely large super chat there, dude. 
Me and you got we got to have some chats uh, coming up this week, man. Holy cow! Thank you so much for that super chat. And again, that reminds me, guys. There's a link to uh, Minotaur down there in my uh, giggity giggity chat uh, in the in the description where you guys can click on, go over there, shop for your MRE uh, essentials. Uh, you know, like your odds and ends and what's nots. Hey, Kalist is back. Hi, Smokey. I'm back, and uh, and a new video is up. Oh, okay. So Kalis has got a new video up, everybody. So go check it out. Thank you for that super chat, Miss Kalis. I uh, haven't seen you in a little while. I know the last time I talked to you, you had went on to a trip. That's what it was. Oh, look at that. I'm into pain. Hello. How's it going, Smoke? Well, how's it going? I'm into pain. It's good to see you, man. And uh, always enjoy seeing you in the chat. It, you've been around for these live streams since I started doing them. Like, legit. It's been like two years now. And uh, that's that's a long time to stick with something, man. Like, it really is. And I am so proud that you guys hang around the way you do. I really appreciate you guys. Hey, Horny Animal says, how have you been, old Smokey, I think you mean. Uh, thank you for that super chat, first of all, Mr. Animal or Mrs. Animal. Uh, animal. I'll just call you Animal. Oh, hey, look at that. My cat's tearing up its collar, if you guys didn't notice that. She looks awful. All right, here, sit down right there on the tray. I mean, you're already up here. You may as well. Right here. Look, look right here. Look right here. Look right here. Um, how am I doing? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, things are definitely moving along. I am currently, uh, I, I got a little bit of news for you guys that reminded me. Thank you for that uh, super chat because it got me onto this topic that I'm getting ready to talk about. And I'm going to open up cans. Son of a... All right. Time out, guys. She just knocked down uh, all of my extras that I had stuck in a cup. Gum. Oh, sporks. Oh, toilet paper. Sugar. Oh, man. Butter buds. Toothpick. <laughs> Guess I can name everything off. Wet wipe. Another uh, Italian toothpick. Got the Minotaur uh, eating utensil. Got my vape pen. I would have just left that stuff and not stopped, guys, but it was right underneath my feet, and I couldn't do that. Oh. Whew. All right, and uh, all right, now, back to the Super Chat and what that had me thinking about. Horny Animal, you asked, and... Uh, Again, I'm into pain. Thank you again. And uh, I've been chatting with this young man. He's probably about 10 years younger than me. He went to school for editing and uh, broadcasting. He's worked with the lo local news channels. And uh, basically, he's got a good film background. He's got a good editing background. He wants to work with me. Me and him's going to get together. We're going to work on some projects. This is actually, this is it's starting to happen. At some point, hopefully this week, I'll be able to get to him and see him. But my son made states in golf, so he'll actually be at the state golf tournament this week. So uh, I won't be able to do anything until that's done. And uh, yeah, that's that. I'm just I'm I'm excited because I, I with him I think that we're going to be able to do things on this channel that I would never be able to do myself. He understands editing and. Uh, he can even animate things like it it's going to be fun seeing what we can come up with and what we can do and I'm definitely open to ideas guys I, I want to hear what you guys think because the food side of this is, is I, you guys know I love it and I love vintage food but I think we can expand on that a little bit and uh, I do have a few ideas that I'm going to be working on um, pretty soon so uh, yeah man thank you guys for the uh, super chats again uh karsten got got some cool minotaur mres that made its way to germany looking forward to trying one of them well that's awesome dude and thank you for that super chat karsten i can guarantee you you're not going to be disappointed um the new minotaur stuff that i've seen and any minotaur stuff that i've had it's been fresh and it's honestly bob's doing stuff over there at minotaur he has the freedom that 
government contractors do not have. So he gets to experiment with things that uh, that they can't do. All right, so let me get my P38 out of my pocket, and we are going to start cracking into stuff because I have gotten extremely far behind on the chat. Uh, the cat is letting you know who's in charge, <laughs> K-Man. And K-Man, thank you for hanging out on the live stream, man. I, you know I appreciate seeing you in here because I'm going to tell everybody in here, I don't know if you guys realize it or not, and this is 100% the truth. There's no way to get around with this fact that I'm getting ready to state. If it wasn't for K-Man... None of us would be right here in this chat right now doing what we're doing. It, Plain and simple. We have that man to thank for all this. And uh, it has turned into quite the awesome community over the years. Really started taking off, I would say, like as far as the YouTube community in you know, 2015, 16, really started expanding. I don't have a P38 in my... Wait, no. Huh. That sucks. I don't have a P-38. All I have is a P-51. Man, I do have the Fred in my pocket, though. Uh, but, yeah, guys, you don't you don't understand. If it wasn't for K-Man, which is in the chat, he is MRE Info, and that is the website. If you don't know, if you haven't been there, please go over there and check that out. And, uh, you, you know... You gotta, you gotta join up over there. Uh, old Smokey, okay. Gunner says, let me know if you're interested in any sodas. I have the original New York soda seltzer, case of 25th anniversary Disney anniversary Coke, and a case of 101 Dalmatians Dr Pepper. All that sounds really interesting, man. I'd hate to break up a case or a six pack though, just to chug one on a on a. Uh, <laughs> on a live stream for everybody. But, yeah, all those actually sound really awesome. I'd say there's some pretty fun and interesting information that could be found out about each and every one of them. That New York Seltzer, I've never heard of, and I have no clue. Sorry about the noise, guys. And I have no clue what that would be all about. Let me... I'm going to fix the sound real quick, guys. I know it's taken me forever to get into this thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that, but see, that's what people that rewatch these things don't understand. In the moment, the live chat, like this is, this is how it is. And if I stood here and just read through the chat, obviously I wouldn't get much done. I've been thinking about making all kinds of videos for YouTube, but I'm afraid the cat's going to come out of nowhere and put his butt in front of. Uh, well, Eric. My suggestion would be to shut your cat in a room. <laughs> That's that would be my suggestion. Let's see what else. All right. Yeah, you guys go over there and definitely check out Minotaur because I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be headed to Minotaur pretty soon. And uh, well got these states going on and I'm not exactly sure what day we're even going to be back but it's going to make it really tight for me to be able to make it to Kentucky on Saturday with states going on this week so hopefully did I miss I don't think I missed a super chat I think I'm good I'm just reading down through everything okay am I caught up guys Look here I'm just going to go to go to the super chats make sure I read the last one. Oh no I haven't okay Oh Wow Killer says, How rare is a 1987 German emergency survival ration? Uh, not ration? No trash? No, not tra no tration? No tration? Uh, am I reading that improperly? Uh, 87. Hang on. I don't. If that's the one in the. <laughs> you. Hey. Yeah, I know. I love you too. Yes, you're you're my little baby, but you can't jump up there. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, go on, honey. Go on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the German emergency rations from 1987. I do believe we're in a cardboard box. They were red, green, and I think there might even be like a dark navy blue one. I don't know what the difference is between the three. I know that they typically come with like a coffee, a tea, maybe a bouillon. And some food bars. 
So I, it's really hard for me to say, oh well, killer. And I would have to, uh, I would honestly, I'd have to see the picture and do a little bit of research. Oh, it's in, it's a green one in a box. Just ordered one. How rare are they? Um, I would say not extremely rare at this point because I've seen those things floating around now for about three years. And, uh, ah, yes, from MRE Mountain. So, uh, well, you're, that's going to be shipping from Europe over there, from Germany. And uh, I, know the, I know the fellow that's going to be shipping that to you over there. Uh, he's he's a good kid, and uh, yeah, I won't say much about MRE Nation, or not MRE Nation, but uh, MRE Mountain. Sorry, but uh, yeah, um, they're not extremely rare. Um, there, there's been quite a few of them put into circulation. I would say probably, ugh, I saw I actually saw a case of those things about a month or two ago. Somebody had. I think there was 24 or 30. I can't remember how many was in a case. I, I could, actually couldn't read it. It just looked. I'm going off of how it looked. It looked like there was probably like 24 or 36 or something like that in the case. And I think they wanted 150 bucks for the case, which I, I just, after shipping and stuff, and I, I don't know, I just couldn't put them to use personally. Uh, bought yours from foreignmre.com. Okay, cool, cool, Kalen. Uh, I know there's different versions of those, too. Yes, they are beyond expensive. You are correct. Now, I have seen prices that they have over there in Europe that are actually fairly reasonable when it comes down. I don't, like, I've I seen that they had uh, three uh, Norwegian Arctic rations for 50, it said 50 bucks. I can't, I don't know if that's German money, British money. I don't know what it was. Either way, though, that wouldn't be too awful bad because it was free shipping over there. But to ship them over here, like you're, you're, it's just, it, it's not, it doesn't make any sense. All right, let's get through these cans, guys. This one right here, I do want to, uh, made by the American Bread Company, Nashville, Tennessee. The American Bread Company, Nashville, Tennessee. Contents enriched. Okay, so the contents are enriched flour, shortening, sugar, egg products, salt, and pure flavor. <laughs> pure flavor, it says. That's great. Sorry, guys, i got to put my cell phone snooze over here, too. Uh... Two hours will be enough, won't it? Yeah. Okay. Looks to me like... Uh, mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so the, the state-of-the-art facility known as the American Bread Company was opened in 1951. It's 132,000 square feet, the building. It was the largest, most modern bakery in the Nashville area. In 1993, the Evers family sold the business to the Lewis Brothers Bakery, or Bakers. Uh, the building now houses the Lane Motor Museum forms part of the business uh, huh interesting though so they were a, they were a big player back in the 50s let's get this back and obviously they were still open in the 70s because this is definitely mid to late 70s I would not say that this is Vietnam era I would say well, I know that the accessory packet is. We're going to open up this pound cake 
2.2 ounces. I mean, look at that can. How unique. I think that's really cool. The way those paint lines are on there, or whatever that is. I guess it's paint lines. That is, it was like grinded down underneath there. I mean, the seam looks okay, I guess. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's just that glue that they put over it to seal it. All right, let's see how well this P-51 does. See if we get a hiss here. Ooh. You know what? I think that was a good hiss. That was actually air rushing in. I could feel the can actually expand in my fingers because I was holding it like this, and the can actually inflated some where it was under negative pressure. That's going to kill my finger. It's. I may have to stop and go get a P38. I can't believe I don't have one. I must have gave all the ones I had in my pocket away. It's just, man, oh man. Thing's so sharp right there. I'm going to have to file it down. Probably do that tonight after the live stream. I won't forget. <laughs> told myself that on purpose so I wouldn't forget but I'll probably still forget all right pound cake from the 70s uh doesn't smell bad I mean obviously I can smell the can a little bit but look at that oh my goodness there's a look inside the can just a little bit stuck to the top there not bad not bad at all. Looks great on the inside. I don't see anything concerning on that seam in there. That looks really good. I'm going to let that set there and air out a little bit. Now, I'm also going to peel the sides down because that's also going to allow it to air out because a lot of that metallic stuff is stuck to that wrapper, that flavor, and it's, it's aromatic. Man, oh man, that got my finger good. I'm going to try the Fred on the B unit. Now, Sapaco, Sapaco's been around a while. I don't know when they got they got started up. Sopaco, Mullins, South Carolina. You ain't got to convince me to take your sodas. I'll take your sodas. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, on the Sapaco site, it says that they are proud to be a world leader in the design, processing, and packaging of shelf-stable, ready-to-eat meals. Our financial strength and stability stems from the our long-standing relationship with the U.S. government. Uh, while leveraged our knowledge and experience from our military meals, we have applied it to our retail customers, providing them with turnkey food processing solutions. Then there's some personal information. Okay, so Sapaco was actually founded in 1943. I did not know that until just now. That's awesome. Okay, so this one feels like it's underneath a vacuum too. So let's find out if it's going to get a, a good vacuum hiss. No hiss at all. Which I think that's probably a good thing. This is not killing my finger as bad as the other one. It's still got a little bit of a right there. Falling, you see how where my finger falls right there? Kitty, go on. So I've got a bunch of freeze-dried meals that have been sent in by uh, a few people over the past few months. 
And I'm not sure how to put those to use on the live stream because there's so much food in one of those and I don't like to waste food. All right. Wow, look at that. Like a mirror. Oh, and that smells good. That actually smells good. A lot of times I open up these B units and I sell. I smell sorbitol right off the bat. Go on, kitty. No. Go. Well, let's find out what's in this because uh, it just says candy. There's our crackers. We got four of them. With a little corrugated paper as bumpers to keep the crackers from getting demolished and getting banged around. Okay, and this is not what I expected, but uh, there is something wrapped in here. Let's find out. Ooh, oh, look how nice and white that is. This is a coconut disc. Look at that. And look how good a shape that's in. Like, usually these are kind of brittle and, like, falls open on the end. Like, that's, huh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. All right. That is a perfect can. Absolutely perfect. Shove that lid back down. And boom. Nice for nice for display. There's just no date on it, which I, I still think is weird. Okay. Now, peanut butter. I'm going to shake this up on the side here just because hopefully we can get some of those oils to reincorporate into the solids i can hear it sloshing around a little bit but not very bad this is going to be a fun one to try to open all right this is kern foods peanut butter from the 70s so we got over 40 year old peanut butter here no hiss at all oh easy these little cans are hard to open guys I don't know if you've ever opened one but they don't like to uh, cooperate very well Bending it down into the oils right now. <sighs> yeah, that's killing my finger. It's about to start bleeding, I think. Feels like it. Anyway, right there, it starts to come back up. cannot open the peanut butter from the bottom though I don't know if anybody's ever wondered that but it's just not it's not possible okay got some peanut butter on my Fred open up this odd spoon do I have another MCI spoon sitting here I do not have one. It doesn't look like I have one handy. I should have one right here. Hang on. Nope. I don't, I don't have one. Oh well. Anyways, this is different looking than they typically are for an MCI spoon. Did the tip of that just break off? I think it did. Huh. Weird. It's sharp. That right there. It'll focus. That little end right there is super sharp. Wow. Sharp enough to cut you. This is Van Brode Milling Company. Wow. Van Brode. Maybe this thing's older than I thought. I don't know. Maybe this is actually an older style. It's got a good bit of flexibility left in it. It doesn't feel like it's brittly at all or 
you know, ready to break, anything of that nature. We've got our pound cake here. Set that right there. All right, let's get into this peanut butter in a little bit. I want to start off, I want to try one of these crackers. It smells perfectly fine. There is no salt on here, though. I'm noticing that. I don't see any visible salt. Right, here we go. Give it a try. Down the hatch. Oh, yeah. No, there's salt on Mm-hmm. <laughs> K-Man says it's an MCI spoon shank. <laughs> it really is, dude. Like that thing would cut you right now. I mean, barely pressing on it. It 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 definitely cut you. So these are actually really salty. Very dry. But as of right now, after one bite, it's very saliva provoking. So immediately made my mouth start watering. Now they do have that typical, like, it's something that they use in the crackers. It's the shortening or some kind of vegetable oil or something to make these things that kind of goes a little bit rancid over time. I mean, that's not bad. It just gives it an odd flavor. No numbing sensation, no anything like that going on. And it's still nice and crispy. It's got a really nice chew to it. The flavor's not bad. There's plenty of salt. Very salty. I do believe it does need some of this peanut butter. I think that'll really wake it up. And as you can see, I was unsuccessful in trying to reincorporate some of the oil, which is over here, into the peanut butter. And the only way to do that is with the spoon, like this. It's very dry over here. You got all that oil over there. Now, guys, back in, well, as far back as they had canned peanut butter like this, they would use these cans of peanut butter, and they would stick uh, any type of paper, toilet paper, anything like that, or a stick down in there, and you could light this on fire, and it would work like a, a little stove or a candle or whatever you needed it for at the moment. But I, I've heard stories of guys cooking their meals with a can of peanut butter. And if you didn't have any way to heat your food up and you was craving a hot meal, I tell you what, I would sacrifice my peanut butter right now to have a hot meal. See how dry that is right there? It's kind of hard to see. There it is. Ugh. Yeah, there's no quick way to do this because it's just such a small container and it's so full with that oil. It's getting there though. Whew, I gotta take my hat off. It's giving me a headache. I've been trying not to wear a hat as much as possible and that I'm not exactly comfortable without a hat but uh, is what it is. Like Miss Rachel Sunshine has been telling me that, uh, that COVID causes you to lose some of your hair, which I do believe did happen to me. All right, that's looking pretty good. I don't know what you guys, what do you guys think? Look at that. Yeah, looking pretty good now. I am just going to try it off the spoon. I've never had bad peanut butter. Not once. Not ever. And uh, I don't think this is going to be any different, but I will try it off the spoon a little bit before I go spreading it onto a cracker. Mm. 
Mmm. That tastes amazing. It tastes like peanut butter made with salty peanuts. Does that make sense? It's okay, Miss Sunshine. You've been dealing with a lot more than I have. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope that's all starting to get better too. By the way, all right. Let's just let's do it right here. I'm gonna really lather it up with some peanut butter. All right, there it is. Peanut butter and crackers from the seventies. Uh, the cracker's been pretty decent. Uh, they do have that off taste, though. But one thing that'll remedy that off taste is this right here. Peanut butter will knock that flavoring out of this every time. I don't know what it is about it. It's, like, perfect. Here we go. Mmm. so good oh wow I didn't even notice that look how toasted that is on the bottom and that one not so not as much but definitely looks different from the bottom to the top you can tell they got a little more heat on the bottom that was what was sitting on the rack a little peanut butter sandwich there Mm. The peanut butter itself is actually like it's like gourmet peanut butter. It's just all natural. No added preservatives, no bull crap. No sweeteners. No nothing. It's just ground up peanuts. And it's perfect. I think it's great. I'll tell you what, right now, if you go, you can still buy peanut butter like this, obviously. If you go to the store and buy that, you're going to pay more than double for some peanut butter like this than you would for, like, that normal processed crap. That won't hold up, either. I've thought about that. If you buy the quality peanut butter at the store in a jar and you keep it in a cool dry dark place I'll bet you that that stuff would hold up for 20 30 years no problem the, the kind that gets like the layer of oil on the top hmm um, I just realized <laughs> that I've done this I gotta have I gotta have a drink of water guys it's the first time I've taken a drink though it's pretty good whole cracker and a good bit of peanut butter without having a drink not bad i'm going to dig into the pound cake i'm going to slice her open right here and it looks a little bit dark i would say i mean it's not dark but it i don't know it has a weird look to it probably looked this way when it was brand new it literally looks like a sponge like the type of sponge that you would give to a hermit crab a natural sponge it doesn't have any weird smells coming off of it which is kind of odd I don't even smell the metallicness anymore it has a a very odd chemical overtone kind of I know this is going to sound weird but it kind of has this almost smells like burnt ketchup <sighs> like I, I and I don't know what burnt ketchup would smell like but I know what burnt smells like and I know what ketchup smells like so like mix the two and that's kind of what I got going on right here it's not real strong but it is there all right I gotta I don't even know how to bite this I don't know if I should take a <clears throat> Or if I should just go for the middle of the pound cake versus biting the edge. Go on, cat. 
Thank you. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Way too big a bite. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Boy, that one had me fooled. Oh. Super. Um. I'm getting extreme, and I do mean extreme symptoms of rancidity. Uh. As far as taste and flavor goes, though, really good. But immediately had that burning, stinging sensation underneath the back of my tongue. Oh, wow. And it's not going away either. Wish I had some hot coffee. Gee whiz. I did not expect that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yep, and it's all throughout my mouth, too. Gee whiz. Okay, I, I need a second. Oh, Prime Driver Andrew says, Mmm, pound cake. Save some for me. You can have the whole thing, Andrew. The whole pound cake, buddy. It's all yours. Minus the one little bite that I just took, because... Holy crap. I have not dealt with this type of numb tongue and stinging tongue in a good while. And it's weird. Uh, thank you for that super chat, by the way. Mr. Andrew, Prime Driver Andrew. I hope uh, everything's going better for you, man. I know you had that truck accident. and I, Man, rough stuff, dude. <clears throat> um, if you've never experienced it, it's hard to describe outside of a stinging sensation that happens in a particular part of your mouth first. It, it's very unique and it's very odd in my personal opinion because it doesn't matter where the food is in your mouth. It doesn't matter where you chew it. The first place it hits you is at the very back of your tongue and underneath your tongue. Like, at the very back left-hand corner is where it hit me at. And it's just like, it, it feels like somebody stuck one single needle in my tongue back there and injected Novocaine into my tongue. The numbness is really predominant. You guys, you know, if, like, say you just brushed your teeth, right? And then you try to eat like a, uh, like a, a donut stick. You know what a donut stick is? That's one thing I know that does it. Uh, there's uh, certain things that you can eat, but it leaves like this film in your mouth. It's very unpleasant, and it'll be like on your cheeks, and it'll be like on your tongue, and it feels like you need to scrape your tongue, right? That's what my mouth feels like right now, all over. My cheeks, my front, you know, the inside, the fronts, my lips, And I have a horrible metallic aftertaste going on right now. The water's not helping. The only thing I think that's going to help at this point. I don't want any of that on there. It's some peanut butter and a cracker. I hope. I hope that helps. Mm. I've noticed that my senses are a lot better than they were a few months ago. The not smoking helps a lot. But the flavors come through a lot better too. Like, 
that peanut butter. It really does taste like it's salty peanut butter. I gotta have another little scoop of it. Sorry, guys. I'm enjoying them, digging the peanut butter. Mm. So that peanut butter is the one it came with. The group of cans. Yeah. I'm going for this coconut disc next. Let's just see here. Ingredients. Sugar, coconut, corn syrup. Invert sugar, partially hydrogenated oil. May contain coconut, palm kernel, blah, blah, blah. Non-fat milk. Dun, dun, dun. Sorbitol. My nemesis. All right, let's see here. Nope, I didn't open the way I thought, thought it would. Huh. Well, I mean, that looks nice. Oh, it's got that weird discoloration on the side, though. Not so much on this side, though. That looks good. Look at that. You see that? What is that? Could that just be where like coconut oils were soaking through the chocolate maybe? That's what I'm going to hope. Let's open it up. Oh boy. Ooh. Well, it doesn't look as good on the inside as I was hoping. I was definitely hoping for that to be a, a good bit lighter in color than that give it a smell oh there's the sorbitol <coughs> <coughs> oh boy okay well I'm going for a middle Ugh, golly it's I'm just breaking these yeah edges off making my hands disgusting in the mean in the in the in the process but I'm going for a, a larger piece I don't just may as well down the hatch huh yep that's awful Oh boy. Man. You know, it's not awful. It's almost. Man, it's almost edible. It's so close. It, there's a burning sensation in my throat with this one. Which, oddly enough, I think is from the coconut. But it's got a really nice chew to it. <coughs> it's got a, <coughs> it's so aromatic and it's almost like gaseous, if that makes any sense. It, it's, it, it, when it's in my mouth, it, it feels like, you know how like in cartoons, how you'll see like the gases coming off of like uh, some toxic waste or something. That's what it feels like when it's in your mouth it's so aromatic that it, it'll like burn your eyes that's what that's like when it's in your mouth and you're chewing it up honestly it's it's the sorbitol has definitely went bad in that and it probably had a large part of ruining it i i don't know I, it seems like probably the coconut oil also probably went bad and that's why I got that burning in my throat. <coughs> that's kind of making me cough right now. Man, you guys should have reminded me that I had this. I forgot. Hang on, let me check. Did I miss a super chat? No, I did not. Okay. Let's see what's in this because it's weird. No list on it. 
It's just Sapaco. Let's see. The chocolate on the outside is fine. Or it seems to be. Ah. Oh. oh, that smell. Yeah. I dig it. What's that smell? Well, that's weird. Something else in there? Okay, so, oh, look at that. Sugar? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's different, too. You got your butt ration, or toilet paper, napkins, however you want to use them. Weird-looking sugar. You got your matches. These are pretty standard issue. You got uh, kind of a dark purple with a white tip. And they are... They are D.D. Bean and Son. It's a weird-looking accessory package. We got... Here's our salt. No manufacturer on the salt. Four grams. We got our chiclet style gum. Give that a try here in a second. Ooh, here we go. Cream substitute dry non dairy. Hard as a rock. No. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's hardened up in there. <clears throat> Santa Division. Patrice Foods Company. Madison, Wisconsin. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> it's no good. And then we have this weird coffee instant on this side that's barely legible. It's just in person. You can hardly see it. The camera picks it up better. And then we have over here what is that? Spanish? Cafe Instanato. Huh. Well, I'm definitely curious. <laughs> Never seen no coffee like this, guys. And, uh, I want to try it. Got sugar I can put in it. I ain't got no creamer. Oh, no, the, the coffee's ruined, too. Look. I mean, it might... Man, I don't know. It might make a cup. I don't know if it's worth my time. Wasting my time. I'm not going to waste my time. Unless there's no drinks up here. Leave it out with the sugar. The creamer's no good. Don't need the salt. Toilet paper matches. Okay, set that off to the side here. Try this gum real quick. See how hard it is. Oh dear lord. Nope. I can't even bite into it. It's going to break my tooth. I'll suck on it for a second and see if it, see if it gets any better. Huh. I'm going to save the jam for another time. And Dub C's peanut butter. So, peanut butter and jam. I've got, it's going to live to see another day. And we'll do that for a Dub C video. Or something. Add it in. Something like that. These I'm going to eat. Let me set them up here on top. That B unit like so. We gotta get into these meals. What do I do? Okay, I was gonna say what do I do with my P fifty one. Okay. All right. Actually, I'm just gonna go throw this stuff away real quick. I'm gonna save the peanut butter. I will be eating that with these crackers. That's what I'll do. I'll set them. Actually. Yeah, I'll leave them in here. I'll set them off to the side over here. I'm toss this stuff. I'll save this can, but I'm pretty sure nobody wants it. I don't want it. Uh, 
I still can't bite into the gum. I've left it in my mouth. It's just not, not going to work. I don't think I need to throw anything else away. I'll be right back. I'm just going to dump this off the tray so we got a clean tray to work with. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Pound cake can. Okay. Figure out what meal that I'm feeling like I'm wanna eat I wanna eat right now. Uh what else is in this pen A here? I don't know what that is. Uh, tortillas. Freaking tortillas came with penne pasta. What are you supposed to do with that? Man, Sapaco, you gotta think that stuff out a little better. That's like, now tortillas could have went in here. The bread could have went in there. Opposites day. Now, one thing I see in here that I actually I love is the cream raspberry bar. I think I am gonna go for a low sodium one day. We might open up two. Why not? I don't think Blindside will, uh, will mind. This one has a uh, pack of M&Ms and a freaking Pop-Tart in it. Look at that. That's a uh, big balling on this one. Shot calling. We're going to open up. I'm going to do the Chili Mac. Let's see how bad a reduced sodium Chili Mac could be. We might open one of them other ones up back there, too, because I'm curious what's going on inside of those bad boys. There, that's emptied out. You guys know typically I don't do, like, the civilian meals like this. That's why we started out with the uh, with the MCI cans. And, uh, to be quite honest... I'm ready. Ah, oh, yeah. <sighs> are those marlboros? Those are palm oils. Non-filter. I'm doing good today. Doing good today. I gotta have me one of these. A little pack them down a little bit. Let's see if these bad boys will. They're kind of crushed. Uh, again, thanks to Minotaur Trading Company on these. Last time I was there, Bob hooked it up and gave me uh, gave me a couple accessory packets. Gave me three accessory packets and this is number two both been palm oils and I'm not complaining about having palm oils let me tell you love me some palm oils the other one has a long pack in it I believe which will be something else won't be palm oils that's for sure oh yeah these are in good shape Look at that. I have got a splitting headache. I just, I don't know if this is going to help or hurt. Last last Saturday I had a migraine and I could not, like, the lights were killing my head. And if you guys don't know, like, let's look up here. 
see all these lights. There's two over here. There's one right here and a really bright one right here. Um, they are very bright. I think I'm going to have to go get some Advil or something. I'm going to uh, I'm going to light this bad boy though. Pack of matches. This crappy accessory packet. Let's see if uh, let's see if the matches are still even any good. Well, yeah, first strike I broke it, but <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. I should have dry hit that first. Can't go back now. Dang it. And by the way, the gum that came out of this accessory packet, probably some of the worst I've ever had. Literally would not soften up. And I, I tried. It's trash. Okay. This is the Chili Mac. Wow. That is so bold and full flavored and just robust. Oh. I, I I miss this. Look at that. It's a little like I said, this is the this is a smashed one. I don't know if they're all smashed, but it's definitely got a square shape to it. Especially when I put it in my lips, it feels square. Mm. But it's so smooth. Literally no harshness at all. Yeah. I wish I could buy a million of those. Okay, we have a wheat snack bread. 249th day of 2017 on that. We got Mr. Trucker's favorite grape jelly. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Where yet? Where yet? We got a flameless ration heater. Mill spec. Meal ready to eat. MRE heater. Warning. 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 Yep. Don't need that. Ooh. We have a, a moist towel. We have some iodized salt, which is, this is military. So is the uh, moist towel. Oh, and we have mmms in here. We got mmms. Mmms. Got some M&Ms. That package is full. There is no room in that bad boy at all. Uh, Mr. Kid says, Double Bubble is the worst gum. What? I don't know about that. Double Bubble when I was growing up was some good gum. Because it was a penny. <laughs> there. Mrs. Herdman in Leon, where I grew up as a little kid, I used to ride my bicycle around town, and it, she had a little uh, convenience store. Oh, thank you for that super chat, by the way, uh, MRE kid. You got me going off on a little tangent here, but uh, I grew up in this small town. We had a little tiny convenience store. Like, she lived above it. It was just uh, it's where people went to get their toilet paper or some candy or I think she had a freezer, had some ice cream in it, like, you know, bare essentials. I think she probably sold tobacco and stuff. I uh, can't remember. I wasn't old enough to know. Um, but I remember buying gum in there all the time off the counter for a penny. And it was double. The little, like, now I know how they make it, and it spits out of this, like, shaped, um, like a like a cake decorator end it spits out of that that's how it gets those ridges on it and the machine just cuts it and it makes it it's you know iconic size and shape and length and then gets wrapped up and there's your double bubble it's you're right it's not great gum it loses its flavor quickly and it gets tough to chew it's it's tough to chew to get it to soften up and then once it softens up it doesn't stay soft for very long so yeah you're right it's pretty bad <laughs> I just have good memories of it as a kid. I'd get it and chew like five pieces for like five minutes and then spit it out. <laughs> get a little sugar high going on. I gotta say, I'm enjoying this. What do we have here? Is it strawberry? 
No. Blueberry. How about that? I did not expect that. I don't know if I've ever had blueberry Pop-Tart. If I have, I don't remember it. We have the typical standard MRE spoonage. And we have our main chili and macaroni. Produced on the 236th day, 2017. Alright, I'm going to put that out and save half of it. <clears throat> My head is splitting for, for real. Okay, so I'm going to throw this in to some boiling water. I probably should cook a backup too. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with the backup. Let's go with uh, man, I, uh, the penne. It comes with tortillas. It just doesn't make any sense. The chicken and herb. Was that something? Which one do you guys want to see? I'll open up whichever one y'all want to see. We got the penne, the vegetable, sausage, crumbles, and spicy tomato sauce. And we have our garlic and herb chicken. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'll let you guys pick which one you want me to open. Chicken and herb, Landel says. Two chicken and herbs. Ruby and... Ruby and... Uh, Randall. A <laughs> Randall. A Wandle. Should be a link to Landel's channel down in my description as well, guys. Landel, old school MRE reviewer here on the tube. Ooh, tube. The poop tube. Grape pop tart sun. Interesting. Grape. I don't know if I've had grape. I don't even know if they make grape. Grape bake. Penne and tortillas take a ride on the wild side. <laughs> that's I don't know why that was funny to me. That's that's freaking hilarious. It just that's such a goof in my opinion. Like who wants to eat penne pasta on a freaking tortilla? But Maybe, maybe th these meals will surprise me and we'll open them up and there'll be like more to it than meets the eye. Uh, wow. Lots of votes for the chicken. K-Man's the only one that says to take a ride on the wild side. Oh, an MRE kid says pen A. Huh, should I disobey <laughs> and go against it? Everybody wants to see the chicken. Uh... I don't want the coffee. I want your RCW. I don't know who you're talking to, CT. We will get you an RCW, CT. We'll get you one for this winter, buddy. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much to that one. I'm going against what everybody wants. See, and we're going with the vegetables and the. I'm going. I'm going to listen to K Man. Actually, I'm probably going to use that bag for trash. Yep. All right, these two getting kicked off to the side here. Oh. All right. Let's see. Then this. I'm going to do it really quick. Going against everybody's wishes here. I apologize. This is definitely not the one I wanted anyway. It's just K Man inspired me to go for it here. So we're going for it. Right off the bat, we got us a Tootsie. Tootsie Roll. Uh, really interesting story behind Tootsie Rolls and the uh, Chosen Reservoir. Great story on that, on Eating History. You guys, if you haven't checked out Eating History, go to or, uh, history.com or go to your on-demand on your sat cable or satellite provider. You can also go and check it out on uh, Hulu Live. It's also airing up in Canada right now, but great, interesting, amazing story about those guys. Tragic, actually. There's a very tragic story behind Tootsie Rolls and uh, what happened in the Chosen Reservoir. Here is our pen A. Oh, chipotle tortillas. 
We got a spoon. We got a moist towelette. We got a salt. We got a flameless ration heater. Ooh. Apple jelly. We got grapple. Oh, and chocolate. Chocolate first strike bar. Not bad. Um I would I would say buy these meals over the reduced sodium. <laughs> if, it, if it, you had a choice, these uh these seem a little better. And both of them have first strike bars in them. From what I see. All right, let's set this stuff here. Mains are going to get cooked. Be right back, guys. I gotta grab some ibuprofen too, real quick. Oh. All right, I am back. Oh, I should have heated up the tortillas too. Oh well. <laughs> My dad says you get rewarded for bad behavior. That is funny. Thank you, uh, MRE Kid and MRE Kid Dad. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you guys did suggest uh, the penne as well, so good on you. All right, so let me get these accessory packets out of the way. Put this palm oil pack back in this accessory pack. Put it somewhere out of the way. Maybe. There we go. Excuse me. All right. Let's start opening some stuff. Again, we got to thank I got to thank Blindside for uh, hooking it up here. You know what? I am going to go heat these up just because I don't want them falling apart. knee problems a lot lately my ankle was locked up to the point where I couldn't even move well I mean I could move but not my leg all right what do I want to start with here uh, by the way no drinks no drinks oh dude in either one of those neither one of those have any drinks in them. huh what is my solution for that let me see here. I believe. Oh, it'll take just a second here. I have some stuff on standby here. I just it's gonna take me a second to get to it. Oh, and I know Karsten ain't still around, but uh, he sent a bunch of drink mixes and stuff over one time, right here with some fruit soup. We got some two-in-one coffees, some fruit soups in here, some drink mixes. I think they're all grapefruit. 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 
he doesn't like grapefruit, obviously, and I do. Grapefruit. <laughs> and then the two fruit soups in here. We have, I don't know if that's apricot or what that is. Mango, maybe. And let's go with uh, let's go with one of these two and ones that he sent along as well. Uh, Blindside says, uh, "You're welcome. I try to keep my eyes open for stuff. Still got some of those. Oh yeah, I do still have two. I still have two sodas, dude. I still have two sodas. Neither one of them's cold right now, though. I have they're sitting in there on my counter. The two that are left, sitting in there on my counter." Um, not in the fridge. <laughs> so, I have to try to remember to put one of those in the fridge for next week. Okay. Clean up my mess that I made here. I do. Huh. I've done something wrong. Yep. I don't know what I've done, but I've done something wrong. Okay. I think I got it. Good enough. Well, thank you for that super chat blind side again, and thanks for the meals too. Okay. We're going to get this. I'm going to get her done. I don't know if anybody was paying attention to what time I put that stuff in, but uh, I'd be awesome if somebody would remind me to get it out of there at a reasonable time. I'm going to guess like a couple more minutes, probably. It's my guess. Okay, now this takes 500 mils of water, which is a whole bottle of water, and I don't think a whole bottle of water will fit in this cup. So... Eh, it's going to be flavorful. <laughs> Probably really flavorful. Got to thank Karsten, man. This is a this is going to be a mixed lot here. I got a candy bar over here to eat from Dan. Got salty crock collectible jerky right here. Uh, chocolate peanut spread from Blindside as well. So we got apple jelly, grape jelly, and chocolate peanut spread, and regular peanut butter over there. Need a bottle of water right here. Let's see if the, it's 500 mils. In, yeah, bottle of water is 500 milliliters. Let's see if it'll hold it all. I don't think it will. Not even close. Look how much is left over. Ooh boy. Well, that's how it's going to have to be. It is what it is. Only make it do what it does, man. Only make it do what it does. I said that to my buddy one time. We were in Columbus, Ohio. I don't know why, but that saying stuck with the both of us for years. I just said it again. I mean, you know, many, many years. So He's no longer with us, but uh, he was my best friend. Like, he was my best friend for years. Let's use this weird light colored MRE spoon. Give that a stir. I'm gonna have to take a sip of this. But look at that. That looks even looks like real grapefruit juice. Oh, that's awesome. I like it without all the water that's supposed to be in it. That is amazing. So flavorful. The grape, it, it tastes like natural grapefruit juice. I don't know how they do it. In the ingredients, there has to be like actual freeze-dried grapefruit powder in there or something. I don't know. Really amazing, though. Okay, my favorite coffee cup. Um, let me make sure that it, all this will fit. How much water? 
doesn't say that I can read anywhere. I think it must just expect you to put a cup of water to it. So this should work just fine. Coffee cup size is pretty standard all over the world. Except maybe in Italy. I think they use some pretty small cups over there. But especially when they're dealing with espresso or something. But let's take a look at this. This is sent by Karsten. It's two and one. So this is, I think this is just going to be milky and coffee. Just coffee and creamer, I think. I don't know. It is only two and one, not three and one, though. And it doesn't look like sugar, but the, it might be. And of course, I just spilled water. Wouldn't be an old smoky live stream if I didn't spill something. <laughs> oh, my head is freaking splitting. It's driving me crazy. <clears throat> okay. Next up on the list of things to open. Multigrain snack bread. Multigrain. What do we got here? How many calories? Is there any actual like food nutrition here? Uh, two and a half grams of saturated fat here. No cholesterol. 340 milligrams of sodium, which is more sodium than is in uh, that whole Chili Mac main. See that? The Chili Mac main is right here. Look, 320 milligrams. What the heck? It's a piece of bread. And uh, I just happened to watch Steve's video last night about, it was the MRE one. He was talking about the crackers and how salt would induce, would induce thirst. <clears throat> well, I'm going to say this. Okay, wait a second. What is that black spot? Hmm. Weird. Uh, they could put the salt back on there. Those crackers are going to make you extremely thirsty, whether the salt's on the top of them or whether it's in them. That's why there's still a cracker challenge. You just you can't eat those crackers without having some sort of liquid to go along with them. So would having the salt on top of them make you more thirsty? I don't know, man. I think the salt provokes, pr promotes your mouth to start watering. So, I don't know. I don't think so. Black mold bread I just saw in the comments. I don't know. It goes all the way through it, too. I think it's a seed. Huh. Let's see. It's underneath there here. Spot there. 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 So, it's multi-grain. I'd say it's a grain. That's what I'm going to stick with. Heck, it's only 27. It's a 2017. It's fresh. So fresh and so clean. What we got in here? Now, see, I know the first strike bars, uh, probably 2019 or 2020, they started adding some different vitamins and minerals in them to promote uh, cognitive abilities so that you could solve problems better and you recover after uh eating and sleeping and it's it's crazy the technology and <clears throat> stuff that they put in to uh oh no what in the world uh you guys see that that is not normal all right, I gotta go get the mains. I, we'll take a look at that. Weird that I cut it open like that. Typically, I wouldn't cut it open like that, huh? Wow. Intriguing already.
Yeah, I picked that up wrong. Holy crap. Ow. Mm, I dropped one too. Alright, there we go. Tortillas going up there. Alright. Woo! Get back to general live chat. Live chat, there we go. Grab two little dishes. We're going to put mains in these dishes. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this freaking... What? What is... Look. That's not normal. I don't even know what that is. Look at that. That is disgusting. I have never seen anything like that. I want to smell it. Oh. It smells rancid. It smells like, it smells like that coconut disc that I just had. And I'm not exaggerating that at all, guys. Like, it's, oh. Oh, my goodness. Is that just rancid fat? Short, uh, look at that. Too much light. I don't know how to fix it. There we go. Look, it's like. All right. Has anybody else ever experienced this before? What even could this be? Like, I don't even know how this could accidentally get in the packaging as they're packing up a first strike bar. Because, like, wait a second. Look at this side. Look at that. You see that? And it smells, it smells so bad. I was actually wanting to eat this thing, too. Oh, it smells so freaking rancid. Oh. Look at that, I got it on my thumb. Ay, ay, ay. You know what, I was thinking about it. I think eating that, uh, that coconut and uh, pound cake gave me a headache. I should have prepared a little better and taken some ibuprofen or something beforehand. Uh, there's definitely something either growing in here or it was packaged in here. It looks like it was kind of growing in here. Um, so that's as far as I go with that. I don't even know how to analyze that really at this point. It's going into the trash bag. And now I guess I'm going to go rinse my fingers off just in case. That is something biological.
Okay, guys, sorry about that. I just, I, I got to take a little more precaution in what I'm doing than what I have before. Because <clears throat> I've paid the price before. Whew. Mickey Joe, back this video up just a little bit and look at the freaking first strike, dude. The first strike bar. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, and, and honestly, like, I'm not mad at it. Like, I enjoy finding anomalies like this. It's so strange whenever you... Because the quality control is very tight, let's be honest. Like, military contracting, everything has to be almost exactly the same weight, the weight, same taste, the same look, everything. Consistency. For something like that to happen and get through, like... I don't know how that even happens because the, I can promise you that that thing could have ended up in a military meal just as easily as it ended up in a civilian meal. It doesn't have anything to do with it being civilian. Those things are made in bulk to go to wherever. Now, they will have a lot code to win, say, that, like, let's just say, for instance, that batch of first strike bars is contaminated with something which is very possible now looking at that one right there i mean i don't even honestly i really don't know it's it's i'm i am stumped on what that was i yikes want to wait till the last minute to open the tortillas we are going to get some mains put into oh maybe i should uh Stir up that coffee. I never did. I'm, if I don't do it, I'll forget. Ooh, yeah, there's a bunch of it stuck to the bottom. Oh, no. Get. Go on, cat. Get. Mmm. I don't think I put enough water in that. And it is not sweet. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. I just licked the spoon, but let's see. Mmm, milky, creamy. The coffee is a really nice quality flavor of the coffee there. But you guys know I'm a fully loaded kind of guy, and I'm going to put my... That's this kind of reminds me of like the old school military printed army shirts. That font. It's kind of cool actually. I don't know if I can salvage this sugar. Mm. It looks okay. Going into the coffee. Got a cool little sugar packet. That thing's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I get it. Collect some weird, goofy stuff. I know. Ain't nobody got to tell me in the comments or anything. <laughs> I mean, I keep empty cans around, for God's sake. Blind side. No clue how those were stored. Check the M&Ms to see. I mean, they're tw late 2017s. I mean, let's check it out. Let's find out. I think we should... I thought we had two packs of M&Ms. Do we not? I thought both of those rations had M&Ms in them. Yeah, they've seen some heat. <laughs> Definitely seen some heat. Wouldn't you say? Those are pretty pulverized. Mmm, dusty. They got that. Maybe it's still in my fingers. I don't know. Oh, yeah. By the way, geez, Blindside, thank you for that super chat, man. Um, either the M&M's taste weird or that flavoring it's still on my fingers that I don't know. I scrub my hands though. Let the water get good and hot. Scrub with Dawn. Which one is this? 
This is Zichilimac. Now I'm not going to open it long ways. Open it short ways on the top here. Got a little bowl here. Let's uh, let's just do this. Get her done. Oh yeah, that's hot, hot, hot. And all that meat sauce can get out of there, boy. All right, that'll do. Actually, if the whole thing will fit in there, why not? It's gonna be tight. May as well put it all in there, huh? It is extremely hot. <clears throat> Alright, one down, one to go. That's going back there, the trash. Yeah, I, you know, I'm so interested in that first strike bar. It almost, I'd like to have that thing checked out and analyzed. I wonder if there's any other ones out there that look like that. <laughs> Time to dump about a pound of salt into that one. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. That's probably what will happen. <laughs> Can you fix, <laughs> here's the question. Can you fix a reduced sodium MRE? Can we fix it with adding salt later? Yeah. Oh man, I don't like having a flap on there. There we go. Now, remember, guys, this is supposed to go on a tortilla. I mean, they did come with one pack of apple jelly, but <laughs> apple jelly on a tortilla or a chipotle tortilla. I don't know. It seems like, well, the Chili Max a little more runny than this one. I don't know if this one's all. Yeah, it'll should fit. There's a lot more meat sauce going on here. With this one. Mm. Man, it's been a long time since I ate a pen A. I got sick of them, man. I had like 10 of them back to back pretty much. And I didn't want to see another pen A for a long time. And it has been a long time at this point. Give it one more squeeze down through here. Now I'll use the spoon. Scrape it off. Okay. Now I'm going for that chili mac first. Just because I want my palate to be as okay as it can be. I mean, it's pretty rough right now. Alright. Get some of these little pellets of meat. Some of the sauce. And some of the macaroni. Again, this is the low sodium chili mac. Down the hatch. I think it's actually pretty good. The meat is, it's got enough texture and it holds to, together well enough that you, you can tell it's there. And it does add some, I guess there's some sort of beef flavor there. The base, the, the tomato based sauce isn't extremely rich, but it's rich enough. The macaroni is 
cooked perfectly. It is not salty, obviously. But it doesn't taste bad at all, in my opinion. I, I kind of like it. But, I will say this. Growing up, I was always a beefaroni fan of Chef Boyardee. And uh, that's pretty similar to what this tastes like. Now, mm, hang on. The fact that it is extremely hot, hot enough to burn your mouth, does make a difference. I will say that. I feel like without that, being as hot as it is, then it I don't think it would be as good. I'm going to move over to the pen A. Actually before I do that, let's go with the as intended here. Let's go with a little tiny strip of this malt I'm just gonna try the multigrain snack bread. It's exactly what it says. It's very multi-grain in flavor. Heavy on the wheat and flour. Wheat flour, I guess, in general. It has a slight sweetness to it, which I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to breads. I don't really like, unless I'm having a donut or something, I don't really want my bread to be sweet. But I think it'll probably do okay uh, in contrast to that pretty tangy tomato I, I guess it, it's not like a tomato juice but it kind of it's definitely in between a juice and a sauce all right here we go let's try them together You know, that's not bad. That actually does add something to it. And I think after a few bites, you know, maybe eating about half of it on its own, I would want to add a little bit of bread, maybe to soak up some of that sauce and eat along with it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, hang on. Let's go over here to the... Let's go over here to the pen A. The name to this main right here is so it's so ridiculous it's penne pasta with vegetable sausage crumbles and spicy tomato sauce <sighs> now it does have a good bit of that meaty looking sauce going on there faux meaty looking sauce i guess i should say uh, the pasta looks nice held together well Looks quite tasty, I must say. Let's find out. Oh, man. I've got to say, I like the Chili Mac better. Over here, it is definitely exploding with flavor. But it's more offensive to my palate right now. It's got a lot of cilantro going on in there. It's, it's a lot of onion. Very strong flavors is what I pick up about the penne. I believe it's oregano that's really kind of punching me in the palate, so to speak. It's kind of 
overpowering in my in my personal opinion. Let's see. Uh, the Quantum Potato missed the last few minutes, or, oh, missed the last few live streams due to time differences, but there's, but here's a small token of appreciation. Oh, well, thank you so much for that. That's too kind of you, and I think we all understand the time differences being so extreme, especially between you guys over there and us over here. I think, uh, well, let's see, it would be morning time for you, I do believe. I think you're eight hours ahead, so it'd be like six in the morning over there, I think. If I'm not mistaken. But the Quantum Potato, thanks again for that super chat. Yeah, the, the penne is just... It's good in a pinch. And you know, the meat sauce is nice. It does bring it together pretty well. Without that, it would be almost unbearable. But... The one big difference that I noticed between... The two of these is this tastes like it came out of a retort pouch, and this does not. I can't believe that I'm promoting the flavor of the low sodium, but I am enjoying it. Now, now that I've had the other one, going back to this, let's see. Huh, let's see how that goes. I don't know. Mm, yep, still still better. <laughs> All right, let's live on the wild side here. Take a walk. Take a walk on the wild side. These wild looking tortillas. Very, very dark in color. Hmm. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, thank goodness. Come on. There we go. Okay, good. Alright, we'll just rip it side off here. This is just goes against everything that I think is right. Putting noodles into a tortilla. On what planet is that proper? Ah, oh, Sopaco, you're killing me. All right. There it is. Penne pasta in a tortilla. In a chipotle tortilla. Some of it's gonna fall out. Get out of there. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna I'm probably just gonna eat that whole thing. One bite. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I thought it'd be. <laughs> it's all wrong. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Long time no talk. Looks like B Temple may have made it. Um, yeah, not quite Olive Garden. <laughs> it's missing the breadsticks. Uh, Ration Museum will be having a live stream tomorrow, guys. Go check it out. He's doing some amazing stuff over there. Totally behind what he's doing man he got some amazing space food a few weeks ago and when I say amazing like I'll bet there's not a museum in the country that has something as cool as what he has space related and when it comes to food <laughs> sorry 
Very, very cool. Yeah, the tortillas, man, it's like, it's like, let's add mushy with mushy and see if we get mushy. Because it gets all mushy. Yeah, it's just too much, like, pasty mushiness. That is absolutely amazing. I mixed, that's probably like 350, 375, 375 milliliters in that. And it's, it's strong, but it's not too strong. It's really good. Yeah, I would definitely recommend everybody that's in here right now. Come tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and checking out the Ration Museum live stream. Uh, it's going to be great, I'm sure. He does a really good job over there. He gives me way too much credit for stuff over there. He's the one doing it all and has been doing it all for a long time. So he's put a lot of effort and work into that. His name's Sean or Ruler Yak on the forums. I'm taking another bite of the low sodium. <laughs> I'm a fan. I am a fan. I'll tell you guys something else too. If I had dumped both, you know, one out over here and one out over here, both of them would be cold by now. Very much so mild or lukewarm at best. And that one's still so hot. I mean, it's very hot. You know, I ain't, it's not burning me, but it's pretty hot. <clears throat> not bad. Not bad at all. Looks like K-Man has got to take off. Oh, or maybe Ration Museum's taking off. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. What are we going to do next here? Let's do... Uh, let me get some of this kneaded up. I don't know how well the chop might... This is like one of my favorites. One of my favorite things that comes out of modern MREs is the chocolate peanut spread. This stuff is such a perfect balance between the chocolate and the peanut butter. It's it's like heaven. And again, blindside is the reason that I have this. I don't have any idea what... Looks like it's 2019 production date. Or 2009, maybe. Nope, it's probably 2019 because it's one ounce. It's not an ounce and a half. See, everything used to be an ounce and a half. See, this right here will tell you, show you. See how that says ounce and a half? Used to be an ounce and a half. I know it's just a patch, but the patch is accurate. I just don't have a different cheese spread, an old cheese spread, or anything sitting here, or old peanut butter. All right, I'm going to use my knife. Nick the corner off of that bad boy, like so. Yep, yep. Now, I do feel like the bread would have went better with the penne. Just, just saying. And we're going to be trying some chocolate peanut spread with grape jelly and apple jelly, both. But first, I'm going to be trying some chocolate peanut spread on its own on a piece of multigrain snack bread. Look at that. Look at that. This is not at all like Nutella or anything else that I can think of. Now, Jif makes some chocolate peanut butter. But... It's, it's nowhere near as good. The GIF stuff is too sweet. Too much chocolate. This is the perfect balance. Okay, before I eat this, because my mouth will get gummed up. Everybody's saying super chat, so I'm going to go back and find this super chat. Oh, Blindside says, I wonder if the Cran Raspberry Bar is in bad shape too. I don't know. Do you want me to open it, Blindside? I will if you want me to, buddy. This is going down the hatch right now, though. I got... Mm, uh -huh. mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yay, Dan made it. Yay. Good. Because I got these over here waiting. <laughs> Can't. I don't know which one I'm going to go with. But thank you for that super chat, man. <clears throat> If you guys have not had this, 
I highly, highly suggest you find some and give it a try. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you other than it being the perfect balance between chocolate and peanut butter. It's and it's not too sweet. It is sweet though. Chipotle tortilla with the chocolate peanut bread. Let's I don't know, let's find out. I got a little piece. Well, yeah, yeah, let's just enough to taste here. Well, you know. Slipped right out of my fingers. I think I missed another super chat. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Blind says, says to go for it, open it, and see if it survived. I will do that right now, buddy. I was going to show Dan this other one here. Dan and Mickey Joe, if Mickey Joe's still in here. Look at this thing. I can't get it on my fingers, but look. What the heck? You know what I mean? Like, in the world. is going on there. Look at that down in there, too. Such a strange... Ugh. Dan. <clears throat> Dude. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have got to get a hold of me. You gotta you gotta email me or hit me up on Patreon one of the other. Cause uh I I got a, I got something I want you to do. It uh it'll be able to put us in contact a lot easier and uh it's something you'll probably enjoy. So definitely uh hit me up, man, and I'll have uh I'll hit up K Man for you on your behalf and then we'll we'll make something happen coffee to wash down that chocolate peanut spread you know it wasn't wasn't bad on the on the chipotle tortilla to be qu quite honest the chipotle tortilla is pretty unique in its flavoring and it has this really light bit of spice to it a little bit of heat Obviously, a, a very, very, very light Chipotle flavor. But it's that slight heat and slight sweetness that it that it has that makes it unique. It even, if you just eat it on its own, it'll sting your tongue just a little bit. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was forgetting about these. But I've got to see what's going on with these. Pop tarts and blueberry pop tarts. I don't know that I've ever had one, and if I did, I don't remember it. Right, so it's pretty cracked. I don't know if it'll come out in one piece or not. If it does, I'll pull it out. It's, it's falling apart, guys. There we go. All right, there it is. Looks a little rough. We had a little seepage going on here from heat. It looks like. Let's see if I can get them to separate them. I'll have to do it in the package though, so it doesn't make a mess. Uh. Yeah, I got it to separate. All right. Um, these even smell weird. It smells funny. Oh yeah. They smell off. You know, everything smells like that sorbitol to me, though. I think I ruined myself earlier. I don't know. Uh, here we go. Down the hatch with the blueberry Pop-Tart. I'm going to open it up. I want to see what it's looking like in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well, I bet the only way to eat a pop tart without making the insides like molten lava is to use an MRE heater. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I like mine in a pop tart to, or a pop tart. I like mine in the uh, toaster. <laughs> Couldn't remember the name of that thing. In the toaster, 
because it makes them crispy though. If not, I'd rather just eat it cold. Okay, so something has happened to that Pop-Tart for sure. It's very chewy, which isn't right. It shouldn't be that way. And it does, it does have a weird off taste to it. It tastes like it smells. And it smells kind of, almost kind of soured. Like the fruit has went, I don't know, went all, it's, it's edible. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not, it's edible. But the texture's weird, and it tastes weird, so, could you eat it? Sure. Would you want to eat it? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not trying to bash this meal either, because those have been good, that's good, these are fine. I'm sure the jellies are fine. Hmm, let's do this. Let's see if that can kill the disgustingness of this pop tart. <laughs> This is probably not going to be good. I don't know. We'll find out. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, that's actually not bad. <clears throat> it kind of kills some of that weird flavoring. It definitely added a lot to that bite. Took away some of that strange sourness. Uh, Mr. B. Temple, yeah, Mr. B. Temple lived on the far east coast of Canada. I'm guessing it's the civilian packaging on those Pop-Tarts doesn't keep them as fresh as the good old retort. Yeah, no doubt. K-Man is 100% correct on that statement. What they'll do, I've seen uh, I've seen this a lot. They'll leave them in uh, civilian packaging like this, and then they'll throw they'll just slap a retort around it. And when they do that, the pop tarts hold up a lot better. And I do mean a lot better. I mean these things are just are they three years old? Eighteen to nineteen to twenty. Yeah, so a little bit over three years old, or might be right at it. Yeah, probably about right at it actually. We're probably 200 and some days into, uh, right around 200 and some days into the year. Actually, probably more than that. But So, yeah, they're a little over three years old. But, I mean, for, of all things, a first strike bar, like, I've never seen a first strike bar bad. So, let me get, uh, oh, let me get this other meal here. <clears throat> Got some jellies to open up, too. This is the garlic and herb one. We're just after the uh, first strike bar in this one. Uh, B Temple says, literally as far east as you can go, the easternmost point in North America is about a 15-minute drive from me. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I mean, I knew I knew generally where you were at, but I didn't know it was like that close to being the very tip. Let me know where to send you beer. I will get it sent out to Monday. Uh, there's actually an address right down in my description. That would be a great place to send anything anybody wants to send. But uh, it's P.O. Box 68, Mason, West Virginia, 25260. Okay, so this one has the Cran Raspberry Bar. And it has a multi-grain snack bread, the chicken, uh, grape jelly, salt, wet nap, Tootsie Roll, and the Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. So it's been a while, and I do mean a while since I've had one of these. It's probably been two and a half, three months, and if you know anything about me, that's a long time for me to go without a Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. First thing that jumps out at me, what do you guys see? Do you guys see a problem here? Some quality control issues here? I see it. That's pr pretty obvious. I don't know that it's going to affect it or not. I doubt it. But uh, it possibly could. Let's see if anybody answers in the... Uh, in the... 
in the comments as to what I'm seeing. Had to light up that palm oil again. I'm going to smoke it three times. <laughs> I think my check gave up on me. It did. Uh, let me see if I can fix it. Super chat. Go back to regular chat. Go back to regular chat. Super chat. Regular chat. Uh, yeah, it's not, not straight. And it is faded. You are correct, Blindside. The seal is definitely off. Very crooked, and I can't remember ever seeing that before, especially not like this, because look at this. Like, you can see how this line comes up, and then see how this seal is here. So you got all this extra up here, and all that's extra over there. But down here, that's this is where it becomes a problem, because it's set crooked like that whenever the, it started printing and cutting. And sealing, this is the heat seal here. It barely sealed it right here. Just a tiny little bit. But it does feel like it's still sealed. And it's... It is airtight. So this one's probably going to be okay. I didn't even think to check the other one to see if it was airtight. I've never had a first strike bar be bad before. Alright, here we go. Same way as I did the last one. I never open them this way, but this one, I'm just going to do it like I did the last one. Alright, what's the date on this one? Is there one? Nope, 138th day. It looks fine. Smell it. Ah, oh, yes. It smells perfect. Looks perfect. My favorite. God, I love these things. They're so good. Rip a piece off there. That. And cranberries all up in there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. These things are magical. Mm. Dan, I'm going to send you some of those, too. Send you some cran raspberries. Got to send you some of this. Strawberry Dairy Shake. I have all those for you. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing about the Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. I think anybody who's had one would agree. You should save it to eat last. Or, eat it, like, as a snack all on its own at some point. Because, it sticks in your teeth, and it ruins your palate. <clears throat> it's 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 very flavorful, very sweet, very tangy, very fruity, and it'll just overtake anything that you've got going on with the rest of your meal. If you tried to eat that first strike bar with the rest of your meal, it just it would dominate the flavor of everything. All right, so what is going to be? Let's go with the. You know, it's been a while since I had some jellies. Need this apple up a little bit. Need this grape up a little bit. Smaller the hole, the more control, Gun Dog says. He ain't wrong. There we go with the grape. A little bit with the apple. Now, this apple jelly, if it really did get a good bit of heat, it'll be darker. As, as new as it is, it should be almost clear. Just have a little bit of an amber color to it. We are about to find out. Let's see. Apple jelly first. Yeah, that's it's looking good. Look at that. It's got a nice color to it. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to go ahead and add some of this chocolate peanut spread with the with the apple. And I'm going to take that bite right now. Mm. Mm. 
I'll tell you what, that little bit of spiciness really does add a little bit of something to this. And the apple jelly with the chocolate peanut spread is amazing. I did not expect that. Well, it's time to go for Trucker's Favorite. With some grape. Good old classic grape. My opinion, you can't go wrong with grape. It's one of the those old standbys. And it looks absolutely perfect. It's got a really nice color to it. Add some of that chocolate peanut spread up in there. Down the hatch. Mmm. My beard is full of jelly. Man. That ain't never going to come out. Oh, all right. Time out, guys. It's bad. I'll be right back. Yikes. It was so thick in my beard, it was like rolling down onto my shirt. <laughs> it was bad. Really bad. One thing that I noticed after I walked away, I was still chewing on that. The grape jelly does not work on the Chipotle tortilla. It just, it was, ugh. All I could taste, it, it kind of made it made everything worse and i i like grape jelly like i'm a i'm a grape jelly fan all right let's put some of this apple on this oh no that's grape i guess i'm going grape first whoa well hmm i'm making a mess The grape jelly is really weak. It doesn't have much flavor at all. I don't think that's that's normal. I think it's... Well, usually I think it's got more flavor than that. The apple jelly, on the other hand, almost tastes like it's got honey in it. Very... Very reminiscent of honey. Even though it does kind of look a little bit like honey, it also tastes like honey. Really solid apple flavor. Yeah, I like that. I think the coffee will take it down pretty good. Well, this is by far the most people we had on the live stream at one time. I looked down at one point, and we had over 150 people. <clears throat> I think the last time I had a group larger than this, and it's been a long time, 
we had back in, ooh, it was probably, it might have been 2017, maybe early 2018. Steve was on a live stream, and a, a lot of folks ended up showing up to that one. Okay, now this, I've had this since the meetup. Um, Salty Crop Collectibles gave me a box of stuff, and this was in it. And it's been in there ever since. <laughs> I just ran across it today, as a matter of fact. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that today. And this is a... This is grass-fed beef. Uh, apple, uncured, and uncured bacon. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. That Chipotle tortilla is actually... Give me a little bit of the indigestion. Let's see what this looks like cross section. Uh, I guess that's apple or something. What is that? Looks like fruit. Ugh, I gotta try. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, let's give it a try. Very tender. It's got an interesting flavor. It's kind of crumbly when you get it when you start chewing on it. You had a coupon for a free one. I've seen somebody say they had a coupon for a free one, Daniel. The store was always out of them. Must have sent everyone and their mother a coupon. Yeah, probably. Trying to get that name out there. Epic. Epic brand. Epic bar. I have seen these things in about 20 different flavors. Flavors? I don't know. Combinations? I don't know what you'd say. I don't know. Like, uh... One was, I think, ostrich. Uh, different meats, different additives, to, you know, fruits added in, just crazy stuff. They're kind of all over the place when it comes to these, these meat sticks that they make. Um, this is not bad. It's very savory. Got a little bit of tanginess to it. Slightly uh, salty. Mm, a little hint of smoke. Every once in a while, I'll pick up a little bit of a weird texture. And I'm not sure what that is. It's good, though. Not bad. I'm not so much picking up bacon, though. Hmm. I like that, though. I'm going to wash it down with some of this grapefruit because it is, it, this is actually really tangy. For a piece of beef jerky or meat stick, whatever you want to call that. Steak bar. It's very tangy. About like that grapefruit drink. Drink. About like that grapefruit drink right there. Well, can't talk today. <clears throat> hey, Smokey, did you have that sea rat cheese? Did I have that sea rat cheese? Huh? I am confused, American re uh, reenactor. Re -enactor. Yes, American reenactor. <clears throat> I was talking about earlier that I want to try some MCI cheese. Got to find the right one. Want to find one with the can. The, the, the B unit can isn't bloated, which means that the, well, which that will mean that the cheese can hasn't exploded yet, basically. Because when the cheese can explodes, the gases from that cheese can start to escape into the B unit can. They run the crackers that are in there, and the can starts to expand. And every, just about every one that I've, I've had, 
I sent one to Steve years ago. I sent him a uh, ham and lima beans. He, he reviewed it. And uh, the B unit in that one, the cheese was not busted. And he opened up the cheese. The cheese didn't even look that bad. He opened it up and it did have some, some mold going on inside of it. But if I can find one similar to that one, that the same as the one I sent him, and it was from 1963, um, I will try it. I Like I, I talked about in this live stream right here, I'm to the point I want to try MCI cheese. That's one thing. Number two, I also want to try a MCI style main, which means a canned MCI main all the way up to 1980. I don't care if it's 1956 or 58. I don't care. If it's 1958 and it looks perfect, not bloated, no rust, no dents, no dings, no nothing, I'm going to try it. Yep, nope, that's not going to work, Kitty. Did you just stick your... Nope, look, Kitty. Honey. No, I know. No, you got jelly in your whiskers. <laughs> you got to go. <clears throat> I don't want cat hair on my shirt either. Go on. But yeah, that, that is my goal. I do want to try some MCI style cheese. Or I want to try an MCI style main. Now, I do have a main from an in-flight individual from 1956 or 52. And I think it's like, whatever it is, it's a meat main. Like, uh, I don't know, something in gravy or... Something like that. It's it's a like a solid meat main, but it's not. I mean, it, the main looks perfect. It's in a gold can. It must have been stored very very well. And I want. I'm. I may end up trying that one because I had another one. And I did it on a live stream, kicking myself in the butt ever since I'd done it. I wish I'd have ate it when I opened it. <clears throat> it was the uh, what was it? Ham and eggs chopped. It's what it was. And I dumped it out into a mess kit tray, or a, a, yeah, a mess kit. And I chopped it all up, and it smelled perfect, and it looked perfect. I know that main was edible. And at the point when I opened that thing, it would have been like 70, it would have been like 70 some years old. And to eat a main like that that's 70 years old, that is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And I want, I do want to try if I can find the right one. And I do have one. I just don't know where it's at. It, it's been, honestly, it's been a couple of years since I've seen it. Uh, bought it with the other main that I opened on a live stream, which was Ham and Eggs Chopped. I opened up on a live stream about two or three years ago. It's been a long time ago. I'm going to look for that live stream tonight, as a matter of fact. See if I can find it, because I want to look at those Ham and Eggs Chopped again that I opened up foolishly on a live stream. So I'm going to finish this smoke, and then I'm going to have a candy bar. Oof. Today, before, <clears throat> earlier today, I uh, come in here and I saw, had a couple non-filter cigarette butts in this ashtray that I have right here. And I went to empty it, and I had one that was about... I could still see the palm oil on it. Like, not all the palm oil, but I could see some of it. And it was like, maybe about that long. I was like, should I throw that away? I was like, uh... I don't know if I... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I went ahead and lit it. I smoked it down to nothing. It's probably in the ashtray right here right now. It is. <laughs> funny uh the smoke was from a mci yes uh it uh do i have it handy i do not i put it up already it's from a pack of palm malls do i have a pack of palm malls out pack of palm mall pack of palm mall pack of palm malls pack of palm malls well here let me get this Right there.
came from a, uh, I would say late 60s most likely. I would say anywhere in between uh, 1968 all the way up to 1971, 72 obviously. Somewhere in that range. So that would put it at, how old would this be if it was, let's just call it from 1970. Put it at being 50 years old. And it couldn't be any smoother than it is right now. It is so smooth, very robust. It's an absolute delight every time I take a drag off of it. Oh, I'm telling you. I think there's a, there's there's got to be a way to rapidly age tobacco to make it similar to this. And boy, would there be a market for that? I'd buy them. <laughs> that I've never had anything come close flavor-wise over the years since I started smoking old cigarettes and I've experimented with other new modern cigarettes, non-filter cigarettes nothing comes close, nothing even comes close. Hey, G. Schultz is here! How about that? I haven't seen G. Schultz in a minute it's been, been a couple months good to see you here man, I hope everything's going alright I probably forgot to text you today um I got to get you back on my text list when I send out texts and let folks know that I am doing a live stream. Sorry for the mess. I know there's quite a mess going on here. Peanut butter over there. Pound cake I had to throw away. Oh, yeah, I got crackers over there. I could put this... Ah! Oh, Jeez. Man. Well, I was going to finish that cigarette. I guess I'm not now. I want, I want to try something. I got to try... An MCI cracker with some of this chocolate, modern chocolate peanut spread. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And for some reason, I've found out that the apple jelly goes really well with the chocolate peanut spread. Mm. Wow. I have kept you guys way too long. I was going to try to make today's live stream a little bit shorter. I apologize. We've had some interesting things happen, though. <clears throat> you can't tell my throat's dry from all the crackers and peanut butter and <laughs> everything. I might save the uh, candy bars for next week because my wife is home right now. She just got off work. Goodness. <clears throat> but all right, guys, I am going to wrap this one up. I want to say a huge thanks to everybody who stopped by this live stream. Been a record amount of folks here, most in a long time. So I'm proud of that. I'm great. I'm just I'm grateful that everybody showed up like they have. Really appreciate everybody, and I super appreciate everybody who has sent a super chat. I am going to go through the list. Wow, there's a lot of them too. We had Blindside, then we had Miss Leah, and got to say happy birthday to Tracy. You guys go over there to Tracy's channel and tell him happy birthday on one of his videos. Maybe subscribe to his channel. Then we had Miss Gina, and then we had Bob from at Minotaur. You guys, there's a link to Minotaur down in my description too. You can get 10% off by putting OS10 in as a discount code. Uh, Kalist Enoch is back. Uh, I'm in the pain, and Horny Animal came in after that. Then we had Karsten Michael, which is over in Germany. Oh wow, Killer came in after that. Prime Driver Andrew, hope you're doing good, Andrew. I don't know, you probably won't hear this. 
And then we had MRE Kid twice in a row. And Blindside again twice in a row. <clears throat> and then we had uh, the Quantum Potato, which was awesome. Really cool. That's a, that's a cool uh, screen name. And Blindside again. Cyanide Cookies. Blindside again. Quantum Potato again. <clears throat> Did I miss one of his? No. Nope. Okay, I read that one. And then we had Jacob. <clears throat> Jacob. Thank you, guys. Uh, let me know. Oh, yeah, the beer. Okay. Live chat. Thank all you guys for your super chats. I super appreciate it. Oh, DeCarlos Perry. Love your videos. Well, thank you for that last-minute super chat right there. I super appreciate that. You know you don't have to do that, guys. I, I, <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. All right. So, uh, also, huge thanks to my patrons. I do and have been talking to some folks over on Patreon. I've got some things that I've set aside here. They're actually setting right here. And I'm going to start shipping some things out. Pro yeah, No, it won't be this week. My son's got states this week, but maybe next week. So you can check out Patreon over there. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Ninja Super Chat. Oh, yeah, last minute. I got you. <laughs> All right. Uh well, I guess really all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next live stream. Later. <laughs>